Hello everyone, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi and welcome to this video. This is the project we're making today. It's a lovely little bag with this fold over lid. And I, this is actually from the Memory and More cards. So let me show you what I did. I have another piece of the same design series paper. This, this from the same collection, I should say. This is the Heart and Home. And this one measures 10 and a half inches by 10 inches. And this is also just another pattern from the same collection. So I loved all these bees. So we're going to score now. And because this paper, just be a bit more gentle with your scoring. And we're going to score at three inches. So just rather go over more than once than digging into the paper. So three inches, five inches. And then eight inches. And then ten inches. Oops, jump the track there. Turn it round to the ten inch side, and you're going to score at two inches. And again at nine inches. So let's just burnish on all our score lines, that means fold them. So this one's going to be, this one inch one at the top is going to be a fold over piece, so let's do that. And then I'm just going to do the rest. a big piece of paper so just take your time to find all of those score lines okay so the phone went so I just have to deal with that here is the garden people saying they're coming tomorrow so we've now folded on all of our score lines I'm going to just fold this one back over again and we're going to put some t um, tear and tape along here because this needs to fold over and stay put. So just along the top here, I'm going to put some tear and tape. Give it a burnish so it sticks. Get so all that backing, and then just fold it gently over, making sure everything's lined up. Give it a push down. And now I'm going to go back over where I have my score lines and just refold burnish here at the top. So everything is really nice really burnished. Okay, so now we're going to cut our tabs. So we're going to cut up. I think it's maybe easier to see. Not really. We're going to cut along the score line here up to that score line on the bottom where we've got the two inch score line so cut up and we're just cutting along the score line up to the score line and then at the end where you've got this little tab you're going to cut that away just at an angle like that. Does that make sense? Now we're going to put some tear and tape along this. Very not easy to see I tell you. And then one, two, three. Let's see where we're going to put where this is going to come into the back. So this is the back here. So here. One, two, three. From the right hand side is where I'm going to put my tear and tape. And you can put it on all of them if you want. But I'm just going to do it on this one. This is the final one that folds over. Okay. 
Okay, so let's put our sides together. Get rid of that piece of tearing tape. And we're going to fold this over. And you just want to line as best as you can. Okay, so we folded that over. So now we're going to fold in our sides and our base, and then fold in the front flap. Keeping everything as straight as you can. Give a press down, and then all I'm going to do is fold, pinch in the sides with my fingers like this, and then you're just going to coax it into this position like that. Okay, and now we're going to punch two holes in here, and I'm going to use my proper dial. the smaller one here just like that actually changed my mind because I'm pedantic like that I'm going to use the bigger hole because I know me I'm going to struggle otherwise. Sometimes the bits get stuck in here. You just need to... There we go. Get rid of the detritus, as I call it. Get rid of all these bits that we've punched out, and that's what we've got so far. Holes aren't perfectly straight, but then I ain't perfect, so tough. Now, on the one before, I used this black um, glittered organdy ribbon, but this time I'm going to use something different. I'm just checking I've got the right side. Start from the front, and I'm going to use this, which is the fine art ribbon. I'm just feeding it through the holes. Eek. <sighs> Try not to get it twisted like I did. That's more than enough, so let's take some dark brown and then we are going to attempt, attempt you here to tie a bow. And any of you who know me know that me and bows don't, aren't very good friends. Let us see what we come up with. Not the best, but it's going to have to do. Let's just try and neaten it up at least a bit. There you go. As I said, not the best, but tough. As I said, me and Bose are not favourite friends. We struggle. <laughs> okay, so that's what we have so far. So let's do some fun decoration. Get rid of these backings, so we don't need this anymore. So let's clear the decks a bit, give us some space. So I brought up with me to decorate these and these are the hand penned memory and more cards. Whoops. And I think I'm going to use something from the small ones. Just something to cut out. 
What do you think that if we actually use the whole one? That could work. We could cut that little thing out. Let's see what else we've got. I think that's a bit big to cut out. Now, let's see. It's the wrong orientation. It's what we used before. What's been different, maybe? That might work actually. Let's use that one every now and then. So, put these back in here. And I just keep these in one of these, one of our A6 acetate card boxes. Keeps them nicely. So, I'm just going to fussy cut out this inner. sentiment quickly and then we're just going to stick it on the front and we'll be done. So today I'm filming projects for the new year en masse and this is my ninth one today so aren't I good filming nine projects in one day? I tell you I'm knackered after doing it. <laughs> totally and utterly knackered so when I'm finished here I'm going to tidy up my filming desk and then I'm off downstairs, put my stuff away quickly and then it's the sofa and a nice cup of tea for me. Which will be nice and I can have a little rest. Because tomorrow I have to go and have my retinal screening. I'm a type 1 diabetic and every year they need to have um they have to go for a special eye test they can take a picture of the back of the eye the retina to see there hasn't been any funny changes so i have to go and have that done tomorrow so that's why i want to get all my projects done today that doesn't look too bad it's just a little bit here i want to cut off just like that good good yeah I actually think that's going to look quite nice. So you could pop this up. But I think it's such a big piece. I'm going to just stick it down with some Tombow. Maybe it's a little angle. I'm just going to push it in a bit. so everything sort of sticks to give it a good not too hard but certainly give it a press to make sure everything's going to stick and there we have our two bags so what do you think i hope you like them if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube know and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want more information about the supply lists and measurements etc it's all on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below so thank you once again and until next time enjoy being creative bye